is kind of funny. I guess I'm gonna have to try to return this. Apparently one of my family members shopped at this grocery store and they give you, I guess, these digital coupons where if you are a member, kind of like, let's just say Costco or something like that, and you scan this, then basically it says here, with every $50 spent with your More Rewards card, you earn 500 more points. So the person doesn't have a card and the cashier scans this. So theoretically, doesn't that mean the cashier is getting the points, if that makes sense? By the way, I just said, okay, I guess I'll drop it off at that supermarket or whatever. Kind of rushed today. I guess a lot of the COVID scare stuff is still coming up. They said, prepare for the second wave as usual. And this one, it says there's what, more exposures like in restaurants and stuff? Like this one says, COVID-19 exposure warning posted by another Vancouver restaurant. I know a lot of restaurants actually have more outdoor patios and stuff like that now just to accommodate things like distancing and the fact that they say if you're outdoors there's very little chance I guess of the virus spreading as much as say indoors but I guess with that uptick of viruses and stuff like that it's kind of interesting here where apparently in the province they want to use celebrities to I guess tell people about like the warnings of the COVID again this one says we need young people to understand that now is not the time to go to large parties and apparently, specifically, they're calling for Ryan Reynolds and Seth Rogen. Like I said, please help spread the message to stop the spread of COVID-19. You can see even like Seth Rogen says, just slid in your DMs. It actually made me wonder in general, is it mainly young people or is it people in general with like just say too much money in their hands? Because you could argue like restaurants and stuff, that's you'd have to have some expendable income, so to speak, because dining out is way more expensive than cooking home. At the same time, I know there was outbreaks like what? in strip clubs and stuff like that like early on apparently like that i would think it's more about people who just have too much time and money in their hands currently isn't it large parties and stuff isn't my thing personally makes you wonder too like with that debate before whether or not closing things down like parks and stuff was actually a wise decision because like for myself i'm usually out in huge open areas and all that will law enforcement be using more drones too i guess during these times i guess here though like in canada it says police drones now in operation the Moose Jaw Police Service is now using unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly known as drones, as part of their operations. Constable Fod Booth is the only officer on the force licensed to fly the drones currently. Booth received his basic license in August of 2019 and his advanced license in March of 2020. Three more officers are currently in the process of being certified to fly the drone. The Moose Jaw Police Service has three drones. The DJI Mavic Mini is used for training and the DJI Mavic Duo is used for quick deployment. The DJI 300 RDK is a high-tech drone used for far more complex solutions. In May 2020, we started the purchase of our large drone, which is capable of operating in minus 20, can withstand winds of over 50 kilometers an hour, which is important for our location and can sustain rain and dust while in the air, Booth said. And honestly, what this made me think is if they're using it for their operations and all that, their license still, like here in Canada, like for these drones in particular, you actually can't fly them like over people and such unless they're using like the mini but they even said things like they're using it for training so how will that work they're using basically the same thing that a regular consumer or pro consumer could use but are they going to be i guess exempt to fly this stuff over people and all that like all of a sudden when they do it it's safe like to me that doesn't make sense we brought the point which i joked before but it really makes me wonder like what happens if a police is using like let's just say this drone they're chasing after a criminal but technically they flew too close to it like in an illegal way like to the person and all that or even over people so does that all of a sudden make i guess whatever video they're using as not admissible as evidence and all that or at the same time could people then say sue the police for saying hey you flew too near me that's illegal and all that on a more serious note, like I said, what happens if a regular person like me could use it to save someone's life, but technically I'd be breaking like the law with the way it's written. Should I do it anyways? Saying, hey, screw you, I'm gonna save a life, or do I have to make a decision saying, but I have to be legal, I can't fly near like a person to save that other person's life. I would say it makes more sense too. If you're making someone go through a process of a quote, advanced license and all that, they should realistically have the freedom to fly however they wish within reason, just like a car, for example, if you want to make it like that, like a license way, where if they do something stupid, then they will be punished individually. Can you imagine that with a car? You can't be like, for example, I don't know, five meters away from a person or something like that. Man, every car would be breaking that rule every single day if you think about it.
All right, see you guys later.